There are three different kinds of versions, and you can choose the pack you need. If you purchase the basic version, scanner, power line, adapter, aviation plug, calibration board, calibration board holder, and mark points are included. If you purchase the industry pack as well, you will get the turntable, a tripod, a cradle head, a power line, an adapter apart from the basic version. And for the color pack, a color texture camera is added on the base of the basic version. The full pack included all the components above. Let's install the texture camera first. Open the cover that is next to the Ironscan Pro logo. The cover is fully enclosed to differ from other fan vents. There are some round holes on the screw of the texture camera. Insert the screw into the tabbed hole of the scanner. The camera direction is the same as the two others on the equipment. Then, insert the hex wrench into any one of the holes and tighten the screw up. Insert the wire on the camera to the scanner where camera is marked. Please pay attention to keeping the red point upwards. Align the convex part to the groove of the scanner. When you pull out the plug, please put your finger on the part where you can see the texture. Connect the scanner, power line, and adapter together. Insert the aviation plug to the scanner. Then we connect the adapter and the aviation line. Insert USB end of the aviation line to the computer. For the industry pad, connect the turntable power line and adapter. Then the turntable and the computer. Set up the tripod. It is available to address the height through turning around the feet of the tripod, and then fix it in the clockwise direction. Install the cradle head to the tripod. Adjust the angle of the cradle head. Alright, finally we put the scanner to the tripod. After software installation, before we start our first scan, we need to do calibration. Please take out the calibration board and board support. Make sure the scanner is well connected. Open the software. Click Calibrate. Following the interface instructions, hold the scanner in your hand and let the color camera side face you. Place the calibration board position according to the software guidance. Press Start button on scanner to turn on the capturing so snap state and the software turns to on. Then, tracking the cross image projected from scanner should direct to a white frame on the bar. Next, we hold the scanner moving up and down at a constant speed till all the boxes on the software, which are the symbol of different distance, turn into green. So, we finish the first position capturing. The software will automatically go to next position and show the next position direction. We just follow the directions as shown and finish the capture as the last step. There will be five different positions capturing for camera calibration, and software will calculate automatically after five positions are all captured.
After camera calibration, please turn over the calibration bar to place the opposite Y side up flat on the table. Let the color camera side face you. Press start button on the scanner to turn on the capturing, so snap state on the software turns to on. Holding the scanner moving up and down to all the boxes on the software turn green. Please pay attention that all light lines should be reflected on the white bar, and software will calculate automatically after all boxes turn green. Keep the white side of the board on the table. Press start button. Hold the scanner moving up and down till the scanner moving to the distance just overlapping the blue box on the software. The white balance is done. Software will point out if white balance succeed, and the calibration interface will be closed automatically. Place scanner on the tripod. Adjust the tripod height and head angle. Click Fix Scan Model and select Auto Scan. Choose Folder to build a new project. Adjust angle and distance of the scanner. Scanner and object needs suitable angle. Otherwise, mark points will be covered by the object and affect the scanning. You may find that the turntable is rotating without the correct date. There will be a very clear cross projected on the object if the distance between scanner and object is suitable. Adjust the screw bar under the preview window to adjust the exposure intensity to make sure that you can clearly observe the object. After the adjustment is completed, click the start button to start scanning. If the scanning result is incomplete after single scan completed, you can change the object angle to continue scan. Two scanning result will be aligned automatically. You can align manually if automatic alignment failed. Click Align. Find three common points from two scans. Hold down Shift button to select. Two scan will align. There is a cancel option on the software sidebar. You can click it to cancel the last scan. The software has some functions of easy edition. You can hold down the shift use mouse left button to select. You can delete, revocation, reverse select, give up the selection, and hide texture. Then continue scan till the result is complete. Select the Mesh Generation tool. Select the second option to retain scanning vulnerability. Select the first. The software automatically generates a code model. Then save as required format.
Open the software. Choose Fix Scan. Click Free Scan Model. Create a new project or import a project that created on the Turntable Scan Mode or Free Scan Mode. Adjust the scroll bar under the preview window to adjust exposure intensity. The method of managing the distance between scanner and table is the same as turn table scan mode. Click start button to scan. In free scan mode, you can use mark point align or future align and paste mark points if some area has no obvious features. You can move scanner or object to continue scan and make sure the two scans have one third common paths. Choose handheld HD scan model. Open a new project or a related project. Choose the accuracy according to your needs, medium or low as recommended. Put up mark points regularly on the surface of the object. Before scanning, you could adjust the brightness through relative button on the software or double click start button on the scanner and adjust the brightness by clicking button plus or minus and double click the start button again to stop the brightness adjustment. This adjustment is also effective and available during the scan. Observe the adjustment result through preview window. It is good when you could see the mark points and projection lines clearly. In order to reduce noise, it's better to choose dark stuff as background. If tracking loss situation occurs, you could go back to the position where it had been scanned before to restart the tracking. There is tip about the distance both on the scanner and the software. On the left side of the software, there is a prompt bus and you could judge the proper distance according to the light color. Red is too close, blue is too far, and green is proper. Similarly, on the scanner, there is also a prompt light. Red is too close, blue is too far, and green is proper. Scan the object at a constant speed. When the scan finishes, click the complete button on the software and you could use the software to make some simple editions. Press shift button and click the left button of the mouse at the same time to choose an area. You could delete this area, redo the previous step, choose the direction as well as cancel the option. After edition, you could click Generation Tool button and choose whether to generate a closed one or not. Choose Handheld Rapid Scan Model. Build or open project in corresponding mode. Then, choose accuracy and texture according to your need. To know about how to adjust the brightness, please refer to handheld HD scan. Press start button on the scanner to start scanning. Please keep scanning continuously at a constant speed. 
If tracking last happens during scanning, you can scan the parts that have already been scanned. Wait for several seconds. It will align automatically, and then you can continue scanning. After your scan is finished, you can delete unwanted part and generate greeting and save it in the format you need.